Yo, what's up? I'm Gonzo247. I'm an artist here, born and raised in the city of Houston. And, uh, you know, I'm really happy to be a full-time artist, uh, making a living in the creative and loving to participate and share what I do here at Discovery Green. So being born and raised here in the city of Houston, I've actually seen Houston change dramatically even you know up until 20 years ago but i remember when this didn't exist and you know there, there's a song uh you, you never know what you got till it's gone and they say you know today's paradise put up a parking lot and i think here at discovery green it was the opposite today's parking lot put up a paradise and here we are at discovery green i remember opening the newspaper when i read that houston was going to get its own central park and i always thought that houston definitely competed with every other major city in around the world. But one thing that we were missing was a really awesome central green space. And when I saw that that was happening, I was like, what better use of these parking lots than to create something that can attract everyone of all, of all backgrounds. And, and having this central space, really it, it becomes this creative vortex and it's surrounded by all these great things that happen in the city. And it becomes a rallying point. It's a, it, it becomes a, a place where, you know, this is where you start your adventure. Let's meet here at the park and then we can go explore from there. So, you know, now we're surrounded by the Du Buffet, uh, which was kind of hidden in downtown. And, and if you didn't know where it was at, it was hard to find or you had to find parking. But now you're here at the park and now you can enjoy this awesome piece of public art. And this is just one of many things. I think the, the, the level of art has really risen. Uh, the, the, the foot traffic, the ability to walk, uh, it, you know, in this certain area has really just brought more people out. And I think that's what we need. We need to be able to be out here, experience nature, be out in the open air, and really just, just enjoy your city. As a kid growing up, I grew up in the East End, and back in those days, we only really had one mural, one, one piece of public art, and, and it, surprisingly, that one mural inspired me to be an artist. It inspired a bunch of kids in that neighborhood to want to grow up and be an artist. And that's because we were able to touch it. We were able to be in front of it. And when you have awesome pieces of public art like this piece, I think it is important that you can come and, and, and feel small inside of it, that you can interact with it, that you can touch it. And I think having it here at Discovery Green is it really its bonus points for the, for, for the participants. So anyone that comes out to experience the park, having this close access to public art is, is it's immense. And one day some kid's gonna say, I was at this park, I was able to touch this sculpture, and now today I'm creating monumental pieces of work. So I started off as a traditional graffiti writer. Uh, my only access to art was through, through the hip-hop culture, and graffiti is the visual language of hip-hop. So for me, I like the use of bold lines. I like the use of bold colors. I mean, I, I really love how the shape is outlined. I mean, that to me is like just amazing. Follow the form. But I think what's best about it is you can actually go in it. Like this is like, it's like before you had these um, uh, selfie station places that, that, that people are popping up nowadays, like this is the OG version of it. Like this is where you would come in and be a part. This is, this is the, before it was cool, this is the immersive part of, you know, artwork and sculptures is be able to come, be inside of it, be a part of it. And I think, I think that's part of the beauty of this art is it, it you have to be a participant and, and this allows you to engage with it. You know, this helps put the public back in public art. Yeah, that. This is speaking my language. Like as a graffiti writer, you know, it's all about bold outlines, bold pops of color. And like, this just instantly drew my eye. Like this is almost like an abstract graffiti piece if you look at it, like I see the lines. It's almost like I wanna make letters out of these. So maybe you'll see a sculpture for me one day and it'll be an homage to this. So this is very inspiring for me.